Hey guys, Anford, I'm here, and welcome back to another random little office video. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing off some of the random little toys that I have around the office, because I'm not going to be doing a full office tour, because since the last time I made a video about it, not a whole lot has changed, except for the fact that I do now own a boosted board, which is pretty awesome. I've had a lot of fun riding this, and if you guys want to see a review of this thing, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below. It's an electric skateboard that can do like 20 20 to 22 miles per hour over like seven miles or something like that which is pretty awesome and I just can't wait for the correct season to come around where I'm not gonna freeze my butt off while I am riding it but anyways now today's video is about these random little toys and knickknacks that I have over here and as well that I have in the back corner of my office as well uh, because I do get questions every now and then as to what these things are and what they're all about so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video about that here today. But I do want to give you guys a little bit of a forewarning. I'm not actually paid to like make this video or anything. I'm just kind of doing it. But the Tube Heroes toy, specifically my Tube Heroes toy here, uh, I am actually partnered with Jazzwares on that one. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to be telling you guys where you can find all of these. So I don't have a specific bias or anything here. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get started with the front of the line here. So in the front here, obviously we have a wolf toy, we have the sheep, we have the pig, and we have the ocelot. And these are specifically Jazzwares toys. I know you can pick them up at Target. I'm guessing like Walmart and Toys R Us as well. And this little guy right here, well, this guy is me. This is my Tube Heroes toy. It is, okay, it's being very slow to focus, but whatever. Yeah, that is my Tube Heroes toy. That is my little diamond sword accessory. That is my golden apple accessory. And there's a couple more of them in the back here. You can see we got Captain Sparkles, we got myself, we got Sky Does Minecraft, and we have Ashley Marie. These are like little mini figures, and these are a part of the Tube Heroes lineup as well. So those, I know for a fact, you can get at Walmart, Target, Toys R Us. And these back four are from the like randomized grab bag thing, which is pretty cool. And I think there's also cavemen films and there's actually a ton of them. So be sure to check out like the Tube Heroes website for that. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's the Tube Hero stuff. And there's also Captain Sparkles back here, just kind of hiding as well. And I'll show off some of the other ones in a second here. But going into the middle area here, just like, whoa, just where this wad of like all kinds of things. You got like the Alex skin right there. You got, um, you know, squid, rabbit, just, just, you know, if you just look at it from the top, you can just see how many there are here. And uh, those are all Mattel micro figures. I'm not exactly sure what the exact name is, but I know you can also find these at Target as well. These are just like the Mattel Minecraft figures. And I think there are like four different series worth of toys. And I don't even own all of them. And like, I don't even have any room for them anymore. And fun fact, actually, uh, this applies to some like, you know quite a few of these toys here if I go ahead and I bang on the you know drawer here really none of them are gonna fall over because quite a few of these are actually glued into place if I go ahead and I bend the tube heroes toy back here like you can tell that thing should not be standing right now but you know when I was like entering the office and just walking around the house the amount of shaking that would happen would be enough for some of these ones that are really top heavy for example like this enderman it would fall over but i got really mad at that so i decided to take a little bit of glue to the bottom of all the ones that would fall over so now i can actually shake this thing and like the torch in the back is going to move more than the rest of this will but yeah so that's pretty cool uh and i, I think yeah all of these ones that are within these like four rows here are all mattel toys so there's that. Uh, this little guy right here was made for me at, I think someone gave this to me at like PAX East or something like that. And then this guy I think was given to me at Minecon, I wanna say, I'm not 100% sure, but a fan actually like stitched this for me, which is super awesome. Uh, this guy I've had for the longest time, I'm not really too sure what kind it is. This guy right here was given to me at Minecon in 2013, and that guy is a little micro Leg Lego figurine which is super awesome. So like if I go ahead and I flip it over, I've actually never taken it out of this, but if you look on the bottom here, if it ever does decide to zoom in in its lifetime, that would be super cool. Um, anyways, there's a little like spot in the bottom where you could actually attach that to like a Lego set or something. And this was custom painted, which was like super duper awesome. So there's that. Uh, the redstone torch in the back, I think was a gift from Minecon 2013 as well. I cannot remember who gave this to me, but I remember her face. So that was pretty awesome. When I got it, I actually thought to myself, I'm like, do you think I'm Seth Bling? And I think she also made like a golden apple one as well. I'm like, give me the golden apple one. 
win! I won! But no, the torch thing, that's super awesome because, like, it's a really nice size, you know? I could actually just hold it in my hand here and, like, boom! It's a redstone torch! Like, that's super awesome. So the sizing is definitely very cool on this guy here. So anyways, uh, let's see. The Iron Golem, I think, is a part of the same set that these front four are from. And this block, I think, is from, oh my god, the big like creeper thing let me actually take a look down here let me grab this so this guy i just don't have room for up here but i think that no not that block right there i think i don't even know man like i don't even know with half of these toys i'm just saying but anyways this guy right here is from the jinx store i think this is their diamond block or it might be like on think geek as well it's one of those toys that you can find. If you just look up like light up diamond block, you'll probably find it. It's not too hard to find. So yeah. All right, moving on to some of the more random things on this sort of area. Uh, this is, I believe, what you call a Galileo thermometer. It's not particularly accurate or anything like that. Like, I think this is like, there's these individual little oil, I assume, filled like glass balls that are in here that react based on the temperature that it is in the room so it goes by every four degrees so this is the 76 uh, degree fahrenheit ball this is 72 degrees this is 68 so which means it's somewhere between 68 and 72 degrees fahrenheit in here so there's that it's kind of cool i just i just like random little things like that and uh yeah all right so moving on to the back area over here by the way if you guys are wondering what this is a family member or a family friend gave this to me. It's just like a thermometer, a barometer, and a humidity meter. I more or less use it for the humidity meter because I like knowing if it's humid in here or not and if I need to turn on a dehumidifier or something. So there's that. I don't know where you could get one like that. Probably a digital one. They're probably all over the internet. So anyways, all right, making sure I didn't forget anything. Uh, this guy right here, the, the spider jockey, is a part of the Mattel set I think think as well though it looks a lot different than the rest of them but anyways all right so let's go ahead and let's move on here to the back area over here where i can show you guys some more of the tube hero stuff so these guys right here this is sky caveman myself this is captain sparkles from the four pack and then down here we have vicstar which i think i stole from the convention in australia when i went there uh back in may this is uh, ASF Jerome, this is Ashley Marie, and then here is the Sky Recruit. And those are all a part of the Tube Heroes lines as well. So again, Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, you can get those. And then here is my toy in its package, and this was a part of the first printing. So I really don't want to open this one because this was the first prototype one that I was sent, and it's actually like still the same one. They didn't really change it or anything. But yeah, it's pretty cool, and oh god, it fell. I'm destroyed the whole setup here but anyways uh yeah so there is that and let's go and let's toss that right back there so anyways yeah that was from the first printing and it was the first one that i was sent before it was ever even in stores so i thought that was pretty awesome uh moving over here before i actually forget i think this and this are both from bionic monkey bionic monkey actually uh sent me these it's like a cardboard sort of fold together thing of my skin and then here is a pillow of my head as well and it's like super awesome material for actually printing this sort of color on so there's that i don't actually use it or anything like that but it is pretty awesome to have around so c come on get standing up there we go all right so there's those things and i guess moving on to the very last items that are here uh by the way hang on let me go ahead and let me let me show you this guy right here. So this is a golden apple that someone actually gave me at PAX. So I think this was PAX in, I wanna say 2012 or 2013. I'm really just not sure, but it's super awesome and I'm glad someone made it. I've actually used it on like live streams and whatnot just for the fun of it, uh, just to show it off for the fun of it. So yeah, all right. So moving on to the last items on the list here. Uh, these Jones soda bottles are actually from Minecon in 2012, and this one right here is from Minecon in 2011. I got this bottle because I was a speaker at Minecon in 2011. I was on a panel, so they gave every panelist one of these, which is super cool. It's like super rare. The drink that's in this one is not actually the Jones soda, even though it was the cream soda, so it would be this color. Uh, I actually did drink the Jones soda, but I just put water in it with a little bit of soap so that it wouldn't like deteriorate over time, and I just sort of sealed it back up. But all of the other ones I actually got from an auction. 
where these were originally from Minecon in 2013, and I can't remember what auction it was for, but I know that like Mark IRL was involved with that, and I bet on the auction, or I you know put an offer in on the auction, and I don't think I had the winning bid originally, but the person who did was like a fake, you know, like put in a fake offer or something, so I just put in my own offer, and it was pretty cool, so I got those. And then this guy right here, the final item, this was from, this is like an actual replica of the Back to the Future 2, uh, what do you call it, Pepsi Perfect promotion that they did back in like October of 2015 because, you know, the movie, like the day they travel to in Back to the Future 2 was October 21st, I think, 2015. So they did that promotion and they this went on sale for about four seconds on Amazon before it sold out and I managed to get one, which is super cool. I was ready for it. So yeah, anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and let me put this Jones soda bottle back while I try and not knock over Captain Sparkles. There we go. And yeah, I don't know. I just kind of felt like making a random video about the random knickknack crap around my office just for the fun of it. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And randomly just feel like throwing it out there. Over here, I have myself a random little drone with a, you know, actual remote controller there. So that's cool. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna head out of here for now. Um, but before I go, I actually do want to show you guys these. These are various badges from the Penny Arcade Expo packs, and then Minecon, and I, yeah, just packs and Minecon really. The ones that are here are from Minecon in 2013. These ones on the edge here are from Minecon in 2015, and then these are packs from 2012, 2012, 2013, 2013, 2014, and 2015. So that's pretty cool. So anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna head out of here for now. I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Antifenom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.